Question 1. Who appoints the Supreme Court judges? A. The Prime Minister. B. The King or Queen. C. The Governor General. D. Members of Parliament. Correct answer is C. The Governor General. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 29. Question 2. Which territory has a capital known as the Diamond Capital of North America? A. The Yukon. B. British Columbia. C. Nunavut. D. Northwest Territories. Correct answer is D. Northwest Territories. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 50. Question 3. Which canal in Ottawa was once a military waterway and is now a tourist attraction and winter skateway? A. The Rideau Canal. B. The Ottawa Canal. C. The Laurier Canal. D. The McDonald Canal. Correct answer is A. The Rideau Canal. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 44. Question 4. What is the largest religious affiliation in Canada? A. Muslim. B. Jewish. C. No religion. D. Catholic. Correct answer is C. No religion. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 13. Question 5. When did English settlement begin? A. 1610. B. 1550. C. 1420. D. 1690. Correct answer is A. 1610. Question 6. Canada is a member of the G8 group of countries. A. True. B. False. Correct answer is A. True. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 42. Question 7. In the legislative process, which step is between the third reading and royal assent? A. Sent to the Senate for approval. B. Committee stage. C. Report stage. D. Second reading. Correct answer is A. Sent to the Senate for approval. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 29. Question 8. Who founded and directed the Geographical Survey of Canada and has Canada's tallest mountain named after him? A. John Baird. B. Sir William Logan. C. Sir Sanford Fleming. D. Dr. Wilder Penfield. Correct answer is B. Sir William Logan. Question 9. Who defended the rights of the Canadians, defeated an American military invasion of Quebec and supervised the Loyalist migration to Nova Scotia and Quebec in 1782? A. Sir Isaac Brock. B. Count Frontenac. C. Sir Guy Carleton. D. John Graves Simcoe. Correct answer is C. Sir Guy Carleton. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 15. Question 10. What is the name of the representative chamber, which is elected by the people? A. House of Commons. B. The Senate. C. House of Representatives. D. Parliament. Correct answer is A. House of Commons. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 28. Question 11. Who won a gold medal in speed skating at the 2002 Olympic Winter Games? A. James Naismith. B. Catriona L. E. Maydone. C. Donovan Bailey. D. Paul Henderson. Correct answer is B. Catriona L. E. Maydone. Question 12. Which flag flew over Western Canada for over 200 years before Confederation? A. The Union flag. B. The Union Jack. C. Hudson's Bay Company. D. The Fleur de Lis. Correct answer is C. Hudson's Bay Company. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 19. Question 13. In which
which two provinces do the RCMP not serve as provincial police? A. Ontario and British Columbia. B. PEI and Nova Scotia. C. Ontario and Quebec. D. Quebec and New Brunswick. Correct answer is C. Ontario and Quebec. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 37. Question 14. Where did Queen Elizabeth II proclaim the amended constitution in 1982? A. Toronto. B. Montreal. C. Ottawa. D. Vancouver. Correct answer is C. Ottawa. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 8. Question 15. What is the number of Victoria Crosses awarded in Canada since 1854? A57, B43, C69, D96. Correct answer. D96. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 41. Question 16. When did Canada become a constitutional monarchy? A. 1867 B. 1952 C. 1987 D. 1982 Correct answer is A. 1867 Discover Canada Study Guide, page 38 Question 17 When is Sir John A. Macdonald Day celebrated? A. April 9th B. January 11th. C. November 20th. D. November 11th. Correct answer is B. January 11th. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 41. Question 18. Which province has a population of more than 12 million? A. Alberta. B. British Columbia. C. Quebec. D. Ontario. Correct answer is D. Ontario. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 48. Question 19. In 1921, who became Canada's first female member of Parliament? A. Margaret Atwell. B. Therese Cassegrain. C. Lucy Maud Montgomery. D. Agnes McPhail. Correct answer is D. Agnes McPhail. Question 20. In each general election, voters must elect brand new members of the House of Commons. A. True. B. False. Correct answer is B. False. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 30. Question 1. Give an example of how you can help in your neighborhood. A. Fly a Canadian flag in your garden. B. Keep your car spotlessly clean at all times. C. Wear red and white clothes on Canada Day. D. Volunteer at the local animal sanctuary. Correct answer is D. Volunteer at the local animal sanctuary. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 9. Question 2. What is known as the Great Upheaval? A. When 3,000 black loyalists came north to Canada, seeking a better life. B. When two-thirds of Arcadians were deported from their homeland between 1755 and 1763. C. When explorers trekked from the east coast to discover the west coast. D. When Canadian troops helped liberate Italy and the Netherlands. Correct answer is when two-thirds of Arcadians were deported from their homeland between 1755 and 1763. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 11. Question 3. Who are the Aboriginal peoples of Canada? A. United Empire Loyalists. B. Métis. C. Immigrants from Australia. D. The first inhabitants of Canada. Correct answer is the first inhabitants of Canada. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 14. Question 4. 
who suggested the term Dominion of Canada in 1864. A. Sir John A. Macdonald. B. Sir Leonard Tilly. C. Sir Sam Steele. D. The Fathers of Confederation. Correct answer is B. Sir Leonard Tilly. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 18. Question 5. In the 1850s, Canada soldiers started to use what emblem on their cap badge? A. The beaver. B. The maple leaf. C. The bluebird. D. The fleur de lis. Correct answer is B. The maple leaf. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 21. Question 6. During the War of 1812, the Americans burned down the Parliament buildings in York. What did the British and Canadians do in retaliation? A. They expanded their defense system, including Fort York. B. They burned down the White House in Washington, D.C. C. They attacked American merchant ships sailing on the St. Lawrence River. D. They captured the U.S. side of the Niagara Falls. Correct answer is B. They burned down the White House in Washington, D.C. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 17. Bulb. Question 7. Together, these two individuals invented the first electric light bulb. A. Sir Frederick Banting and Charles Best. B. Mike Lazaridis and Jim Balsillie. C. Alexander Graham Bell and Reginald Fassenden. D. Matthew Evans and Henry Woodward. Correct answer is D. Matthew Evans and Henry Woodward. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 27. Question 8. What is the final step in a bill becoming law? A. Committee members study the bill and approve it. B. Members debate and vote on the bill. C. The bill receives royal assent. D. It is approved by the Prime Minister and the Cabinet. Correct answer is C. The bill receives royal assent. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 29. Question 9. There is a clear distinction between head of state and head of government. A. True. B. False. Correct answer is A. True. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 29. Question 10. What is the British North America Act of 1867 now known as? A. The Federal State Act. B. The Federal Assembly Act. C. The Canada Act of 1867. D. The Constitution Act of 1867. Correct answer is D. The Constitution Act of 1867. Discover Canada Study Guide. Question 11. In Canada, citizens are allowed to question the police about their service or conduct if they feel the need to. A. False. B. True. Correct answer is B. True. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 37. Question 12. What are the first two lines of the national anthem? A. God keep our land glorious and free. O Canada, we stand on guard for thee. B. O Canada, our home and native land. True patriot love in all thy sons command. See, O Canada, our home and native land. With glowing hearts we see thee rise. D, O Canada, our home and native land. God keep our land glorious and free. Correct answer is B, O Canada, our home and native land. True patriot love in all thy sons command. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 40. Question 13. What is the second most popular sport in Canada? A. Canadian football. B. Ice hockey. C. Soccer. 
decurling. Correct answer is A. Canadian football. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 39. Question 14. When is Labor Day celebrated in Canada? A. First Monday in September. B. May 1st. C. April 9th. D. Second Monday in October. Correct answer is A. First Monday in September. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 41. Question 15. The peace arch situated at Blaine, Washington symbolizes what? A. No to all wars. B. Our close ties and common interests with the USA. C. Commemorates the 1812 war between the USA and Britain. D. The gateway to peace and great shopping. Correct answer is B. Our close ties and common interests with the USA. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 43. Question 16. Name the provinces in the Atlantic region. A. Newfoundland and Labrador, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Cape Breton Island. B. Newfoundland and Labrador, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island. C. Newfoundland and Labrador, Quebec, New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island. D. Newfoundland and Labrador, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Manitoulin Island. Correct answer is B. Newfoundland and Labrador, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 45. Question 17. Which three oceans line Canada's frontiers? Atlantic, Hudson's Bay, Pacific. Pacific, Atlantic, Arctic. Atlantic, Pacific, Bering. Pacific, Atlantic, Antarctic. Question 17. Which three oceans line Canada's frontiers? A. Atlantic, Hudson's Bay, Pacific. B. Pacific, Atlantic, Arctic. C. Atlantic, Pacific, Bering. D. Pacific, Atlantic, Antarctic. Correct answer is B. Pacific, Atlantic, Arctic. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 45. Question 18. Name the five Great Lakes. A. Erie, Huron, Niagara, Ontario, and Superior. B. Erie, Huron, Michigan, Ontario, and Simcoe. C. Erie, Hudson's Bay, Michigan, Ontario, and Superior. D. Erie, Huron, Michigan, Ontario, and Superior. Correct answer is... D. Erie, Huron, Michigan, Ontario, and Superior. Question 19. Name the Prairie Provinces. A. Ontario, Manitoba, and Saskatchewan. B. Manitoba, Saskatoon, and Alberta. C. Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and British Columbia. D. Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and Alberta. Correct answer is... D. Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and Alberta. Question 20. What is the capital of Northwest Territories? A. Yellowknife. B. Whitehorse. C. Edmonton. D. Iqaluit. Correct answer is A. Yellowknife. Question 1. Which of the following is not a responsibility of citizenship? A. Saluting the Canadian flag. B. Voting in municipal elections. C. Serving on a jury. D. Obeying the law. Correct answer is A. Saluting the Canadian flag. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 9. Question 2. Who are the Arcadians? A. A distinct people of mixed Aboriginal and European ancestry. B. Descendants of French colonists who settled in what are now known as the Maritime Provinces. C. Quebecers. D. 
francophones? Correct answer is B. Descendants of French colonists who settled in what are now known as the Maritime Provinces. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 11. Question 3. Following the war in 1759, what were the French-speaking Catholic people of the province of Quebec known as? A. French Canadians. B. Francophones or Quebecers. C. Habitants or Canadians. D. Quebecers. Correct answer is C. Habitants or Canadians. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 15. Question 4. In 1813, Laura Secord made a dangerous 19-mile journey on foot to warn of a planned American attack. Her bravery contributed to a victory at which battle? A. Detroit. B. Fort Henry. C. Beaver Dams. D. Bytown. Correct answer is C. Beaver Dams. Question 5. In the 1850s, Canada soldiers started to use what emblem on their cap patch? A. The beaver. B. The maple leaf. C. The bluebird. D. The fleur de lis. Correct answer is B. The maple leaf. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 21. Question 6. During the War of 1812, the Americans burned down the Parliament buildings in York. What did the British and Canadians do in retaliation? A. They expanded their defense system, including Fort York. B. They burned down the White House in Washington, D.C. C. They attacked American merchant ships sailing on the St. Lawrence River. D. They captured the U.S. side of the Niagara Falls. Correct answer is B. They burned down the White House in Washington, D.C. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 17. Question 7. Together, these two individuals invented the first electric light bulb. A. Sir Frederick Banting and Charles Best. B. Mike Lazaridis and Jim Balsilli. C. Alexander Graham Bell and Reginald Fassenden. D. Matthew Evans and Henry Woodward. Correct answer is D. Matthew Evans and Henry Woodward. Question 8. What is the final step in a bill becoming law? A. Committee members study the bill and approve it. B. Members debate and vote on the bill. C. The bill receives royal assent. D. It is approved by the Prime Minister and the Cabinet. Correct answer is C. The bill receives royal assent. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 29. Question 9. There is a clear distinction between head of state and head of government. A. True. B. False. Correct answer is A. True. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 29. Question 10. What is the British North America Act of 1867 now known as? A. The Federal State Act. B. The Federal Assembly Act. C. The Canada Act of 1867. D. The Constitution Act of 1867. Correct answer is D. The Constitution Act of 1867. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 28. Question 11. In Canada, citizens are allowed to question the police about their service or conduct if they feel the need to. A. False. B. True. Correct answer is B. True. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 37. Question 12. What are the first two lines of the national anthem? A. God keep our land glorious and free. O Canada, we stand on guard for thee. B. O Canada, our home and native land. True patriot love in all thy sons command. C. O Canada, our home and native land. With glowing hearts we see thee rise. D. O Canada, our home and native land. God keep our land glorious and free. Correct 
answer is B. O. Canada, our home and native land. True patriot love in all thy sons command. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 40. Question 13. What is the second most popular sport in Canada? A. Canadian football. B. Ice hockey. C. Soccer. D. Curling. Correct answer is A. Canadian football. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 39. Question 14. When is Labor Day celebrated in Canada? A. First Monday in September. B. May 1st. C. April 9th. D. Second Monday in October. Correct answer is A. First Monday in September. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 41. Question 15. The peace arch situated at Blaine, Washington symbolizes what? A. No to all wars. B. Our close ties and common interests with the USA. C. Commemorates the 1812 war between the USA and Britain. D. The gateway to peace and great shopping. Correct answer is B. Our close ties and common interests with the USA. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 43. Question 16. Name the provinces in the Atlantic region. A. Newfoundland and Labrador, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Cape Breton Island. B. Newfoundland and Labrador, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island. C. Newfoundland and Labrador, Quebec, New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island. D. Newfoundland and Labrador, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Manitoulin Island. Correct answer is B. Newfoundland and Labrador, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island. Question 17. Which three oceans line Canada's frontiers? Atlantic, Hudson's Bay, Pacific. Pacific, Atlantic, Arctic. Atlantic, Pacific, Bering. Pacific, Atlantic, Antarctic. Correct answer is B. Pacific, Atlantic, Arctic. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 45. Question 18. Name the five Great Lakes. A. Erie, Huron, Niagara, Ontario, and Superior. B. Erie, Huron, Michigan, Ontario, and Simcoe. C. Erie, Hudson's Bay, Michigan, Ontario, and Superior. D. Erie, Huron, Michigan, Ontario, and Superior. Correct answer is D. Erie, Huron, Michigan, Ontario, and Superior. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 48. Question 19. Name the Prairie Provinces. A. Ontario, Manitoba, and Saskatchewan. B. Manitoba, Saskatoon, and Alberta. C. Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and British Columbia. D. Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and Alberta. Correct answer is D. Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and Alberta. Question 20. What is the capital of Northwest Territories? A. Yellowknife. B. Whitehorse. C. Edmonton. D. Iqaluit. Correct answer is A. Yellowknife. Question 1. Where was the Magna Carta signed? A. France. B. Canada. C. England. D. Scotland. Correct answer is C. England. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 8. Question 2. What percentage of Aboriginals are Métis? A. 30%. B. 4%. C. 65%. D. 40%. Correct answer is A. 30%. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 11. 
Question 3. Who was an Olympic gold medalist and prominent activist for gay and lesbian Canadians? A. Donovan Bailey. B. Paul Henderson. C. Mark Tewksbury. D. Rick Hansen. Correct answer is C. Mark Tewksbury. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 26. Question 4. Who was a great frontier hero, mounted policeman, and soldier of the Queen? A. Louis Riel. B. Gabriel Dumont. C. Sir Sam Steele. D. Gary Ford. Correct answer is C. Sir Sam Steele. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 19. Question 5. When did the British Parliament pass the British North America Act? A. 1867 B. 1864 C. 1847 D. 1840 Correct answer is A. 1867 Discover Canada Study Guide, page 18 Question 6 which famous poem is often recited on Remembrance Day? A. We remember them. B. Never again. C. No to all wars. D. In Flanders Fields. Correct answer is D. In Flanders Fields. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 22. Question 7. Who became the first head of a responsible government? A. Robert Baldwin. B. Sir Louis Hippolyte LaFontaine C. Joseph Howe D. Lord Elgin Correct answer is B. Sir Louis Hippolyte LaFontaine Discover Canada Study Guide, page 18 Question 8 The sovereign is a symbol of what? A. Canadian sovereignty B. Guardian of constitutional freedoms C. Reflection of Canada's history D. All of them. Correct answer is D. All of them. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 29. Question 9. Who is the head of government? A. The Sovereign. B. Queen Elizabeth II of Canada. C. Governor General. D. The Prime Minister. Correct answer is D. The Prime Minister. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 29. How many judges form the Supreme Court of Canada? A9 B7 C5 D12 Correct answer is A9 Discover Canada Study Guide, page 29. Who are elected officials of municipal, local, governments? A. Mlaze and MNAs. B. Mayor or Reeve and Councillors or Aldermen. C. Members of Parliament and Mlaze. D. Mlaze or MNAs and MPPs or MHAs. Correct answer is B. Mayor or Reeve and Councillors or Aldermen. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 33. The courts enforce the laws and the police settle disputes. A. True. B. False. Correct answer is B. False. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 36. When is Sir John A. Macdonald Day? A. January 11th. B. November 20th. C. November 11th. D. January 1st. Correct answer is A. January 11th. Canada's official coat of arms contains symbols of which countries? A. Wales, Ireland, England, and Northern Ireland. B. England, France, Scotland, and Ireland. C. Netherlands, Germany, France, and Britain. D. America, England, France, and China. Correct answer is B. England, France, Scotland, and Ireland. Question 15. What are the official languages of Canada? A. English, French, and Chinese. B. English and Chinese. C. English, French, and Punjabi. D. English and French.
correct answer is D. English and French. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 39. Question 16. Canada is part of the G8 group of countries. A. True. B. False. Correct answer is A. True. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 42. Question 17. Which region of Canada contains one-third of Canada's land mass? A. Central Canada B. Prairie Provinces C. West Coast D. The North Correct answer is D. The North Discover Canada Study Guide, page 50 Question 18 Why is the North often referred to as the land of the midnight sun? A. Sunshine for 24 hours a day in winter B. Almost 24 hours of daylight in summer. C. In spring there is 24 hours of daylight. D. There is no daylight in summer. Correct answer is B. Almost 24 hours of daylight in summer. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 50. Question 19. Which provincial capital city is home to the Navy's Pacific Fleet? A. Halifax, Nova Scotia. B. Montreal, QC. C. Victoria, BC. D. Vancouver, BC. Correct answer is C. Victoria, BC. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 49. Question 20. Which centuries old company adopted the beaver as its symbol? A. St. Jean Baptiste Company. B. The Beaver Company. C. Hudson's Bay Company. D. None of these. Correct answer is C. Hudson's Bay Company. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 39. Question 1. Canadian law has several original sources. Which of these are part of them? A. English Common Law. B. Civil Code of France. C. Unwritten Constitution of Great Britain. D. All of the above. Correct answer is D. All of the above. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 8. Question 2. Who was Marjorie Turner Bailey? A. One of the group of seven. B. A. Founder of women's suffrage. C. An Olympian and descendant of black loyalists. D. The first female publisher in Canada. Correct answer is C. An Olympian and descendant of black loyalists. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 13. Question 3. Who scored the winning goal in the 1972 Canada-Soviet Summit Ice Hockey Series, which is referred to as the goal heard around the world? A. Mark Tewksbury. B. Wayne Gretzky. C. Donovan Bailey. D. Paul Henderson. Correct answer is D. Paul Henderson. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 26. Question 4. In 1670, who did King Charles III grant trading rights to? A. The British. B. The Hudson Bay Company. C. The French. D. Count Frontenac, Bishop Laval, and Jean Talon. Correct answer is B. The Hudson Bay Company. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 15. Question 5. When was D-Day? A. June 1943. B. January 16, 1944. C. June 6, 1944. D. November 11, 1945. Correct answer is C. June 6, 1944. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 23. Question 6. Who was a great hero of New France, winning many victories over the British? A. Pierre L. Emoyne, C. Erdil Berville. B. Pierre de Mons. C. Samuel de Champlain. D. Marquis de Montcalm. Correct answer is a. Pierre L. Emoyne, C. Erdilberville. 
Discover Canada Study Guide, page 15. Question 7. In what 1899-1902 war did 7,000 Canadians volunteer and 260 Canadians die? A. The Korean War. B. Battle of Vimy. C. South African War. The Boer War. D. Battle of Amiens. Correct answer is C. South African War. The Boer War. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 21. Question 8. Canada's system of government is a federal state, a parliamentary democracy and a constitutional monarchy. A. True. B. False. Correct answer is A. True. Question 9. Who is the current Governor General? A. Stephen Harper. B. Roland Mishner. C. Elizabeth Dowdswell. D. David Johnston. Correct answer is D. David Johnston. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 29. Question 10. What are the two parts to provincial legislatures? A. Governor General and Mlaes. B. Mlaes and MNAs. C. Lieutenant Governor and the Elected Assembly. D. The Commissioner and the Elected Assembly. Correct answer is C. Lieutenant Governor and the Elected Assembly. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 29. Question 11. How many electoral districts are there? As printed in the Discover Canada Guide. A. 178. B. 308. C. 365. D. 338. Correct answer is D. 338. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 30. Question 12. What happens if you are arrested and need a lawyer but cannot afford one? A. Your local authority will lend you the money for a lawyer. B. Legal aid services will help. C. You must handle things yourself. D. Contact your MP. Correct answer is B. Legal Aid Services will help. Question 13. In which year was O Canada first sung? A. 1980. B. 1965. C. 1910. D. 1880. Correct answer is D. 1880. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 40. Question 14. Which part of Parliament was destroyed by an accidental fire in 1916? A. All of it. B. Centre Block. C. West Wing. D. East Wing. Correct answer is B. Centre Block. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 39. Question 15. Which act established equality between French and English in Parliament? A. The Bilingual Act. B. The British North America Act. C. The Official Languages Act. D. The French Act. Correct answer is C. The Official Languages Act. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 39. Question 16. What is the main benefit of trading with other nations? A. Benefits the economy and maintains our standard of living. B. Encourages tourism. C. Makes it easier for everyone to travel. D. Stops wars from happening. Correct answer is A. Benefits the economy and maintains our standard of living. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 42. Question 17. Which province, S, make up the West Coast? A. British Columbia and the Yukon. B. Alberta and British Columbia. C. British Columbia. D. The Yukon and the Northwest. Correct answer is C. British Columbia. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 49. Question 18. Which province is home to the Training Academy of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, RCMP? A. Ontario. B. Manitoba. 
See Nova Scotia. D. Saskatchewan. Correct answer is D. Saskatchewan. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 48. Question 19. Which person is the highest mountain in Canada named after? A. Sir Joshua Logan. B. Sir William Logan. C. John Logan. D. Seamus Logan. Correct answer is B. Sir William Logan. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 50. Question 20. What is the meaning of the word Nunavut? A. Home. B. White Heaven. C. Cold Land. D. Our Land. Correct answer is D. Our Land. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 51. Question 1. What are the additional rights summarized in the Canadian Chart of Rights and Freedoms? A. Freedom of Conscience, Freedom of Thought and Freedom of Association. B. Mobility Rights, Official Language Rights, Multiculturalism and Aboriginal Rights. C. Freedom of Peaceful Assembly, Freedom to Own Property, Freedom to Live and Work Anywhere Within Canada. D. Freedom of Speech, Freedom of the Press and Aboriginal Rights. Correct answer is B. Mobility rights, official language rights, multiculturalism, and aboriginal rights. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 8. Gay and lesbian Canadians enjoy the full protection and equal treatment under the law. A. True. B. False. Correct answer is A. True. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 13. Question 3. In 1985, who circled the globe in a wheelchair to raise funds for spinal cord research? A. Donovan Bailey. B. Terry Fox. C. Chantal Petit Clerk. D. Rick Hansen. Correct answer is D. Rick Hansen. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 26. Question 4. When did the name Canada start appearing on maps? A. 1980 B. 1880 C. 1550 D. Early 1600 S Correct answer is C. 1550 Discover Canada Study Guide, page 14 Question 5 Who was Therese Cassegrain? A. She fought for the women's right to vote in Quebec in 1940 B. She was Canada's first female member of Parliament. C. A famous Olympian who was a descendant of black loyalists. D. One of the artists in the group of seven. Correct answer is A. She fought for the women's right to vote in Quebec in 1940. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 21. Question 6. Which country did Canada liberate in 1944-45? A. Italy. B. France. C. The Netherlands. D. Belgium. Correct answer is C. The Netherlands. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 23. Question 7. What was the nickname of the 3,000 nurses who served in the Royal Canadian Army Corps? A. Red Poppies. B. The Nightingales. C. Snowbirds. D. Bluebirds. Correct answer is D. Bluebirds. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 21. Question 8. What are the four types of government in Canada? A. Parliament, Sovereign, Senate and House of Commons. B. Judicial, Legislative, Provincial and Territorial. C. Federal, Provincial, Territorial and Municipal. D. Legislative, Sovereign, Municipal, and Provincial. Correct answer is C. Federal, Provincial, Territorial, and Municipal. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 28. Question 9. In the federal government who selects the cabinet ministers? A. The Governor-General. B. 
B. The members of parliament. C. The prime minister. D. The electorate. Correct answer is C. The prime minister. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 28. Question 10. How long is the Governor General's term of office? A. 5 years. B. 4 years. C. 3 years. D. 6 years. Correct answer is A. 5 years. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 29. Question 11. What happens when the government of the day loses a confidence vote? A. The opposition parties take over the government. B. The Prime Minister asks the Governor General to call an election. C. The government continues as normal. D. The MPs must take another vote until confidence is regained. Correct answer is B. The Prime Minister asks the Governor General to call an election. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 28. Question 12. What principle is the Canadian justice system founded upon? A. Everyone is seen the same in the eyes of the law. B. Blind to all considerations but the facts. C. See no evil, hear no evil and speak no evil. D. Everyone is innocent until proven guilty. Correct answer is D. Everyone is innocent until proven guilty. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 36. Question 13. Which sport plays for the Clarkson Cup? A. Canadian football. B. Rugby. C. Women's hockey. D. Soccer. Correct answer is C. Women's hockey. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 39. Question 14. The Peace Tower constructed in 1927 was built to commemorate what? A. Democracy. B. The Second World War. C. All Wars. D. The First World War. Correct answer is D. The First World War. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 39. Question 15. Which animal is Canada's official animal? A. The beaver. B. The caribou, reindeer. C. The bear. D. The polar bear. Correct answer is A. The beaver. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 39. Question 16. Canada has one of the ten largest economies in the world. A. True. B. False. Correct answer is A. True. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 42. Question 17. Who were the province of Alberta and Lake Louise named after? A. The daughters of the Governor General. B. The explorers who found them. C. The fourth daughter of Queen Victoria, Princess Louise. D. The Prime Minister's children. Correct answer is C. The fourth daughter of Queen Victoria. Princess Louise. Question 18. Which provinces make up the Atlantic provinces? A. Quebec, Newfoundland, and Labrador, Nova Scotia and Pay. B. Pay, Nova Scotia, and New Brunswick. C. Newfoundland and Labrador, Pay, Nova Scotia, and New Brunswick. D. St. John's, Charlottetown, Halifax, and Fredericton. Correct answer is... C. Newfoundland and Labrador, Pay, Nova Scotia, and New Brunswick. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 46. Question 19. Which city is the second largest mainly French-speaking city in the world after Paris? A. Quebec. B. Montreal. C. Ottawa. D. New Brunswick. Correct answer is B. Montreal. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 47. Question 20. Which is the only Great Lake that is completely in the USA? A. Lake Huron. B. Lake Erie. C. Lake Superior. D. Lake Michigan. Correct answer is D. Lake Michigan. Discover Canada Study Guide, page 48. 
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos.